We really don't believe that you have to have a lot of experience to make a big difference. I mean, look at me, right? I mean, I started this from college, so be bold, right? I mean, don't just make the conventional decisions, but think about how can we do something in a different way than everyone else has? Because, you know, what we're trying to do is different than what everyone else has done before. There were 20 great photos products around in 2005 that had millions of dollars in cash, that had hundreds of features, and here we came along with a handful of people in a month and a half and built a product that boiled down and removed all of those features, except for one thing, which was tagging it so that we organized the photos on the web around people and it completely changed the experience. That was just like that. It's like out of your brain and your ideas and a small group of people comes something that touches the lives of hundreds of millions of real people every day. No matter how big this company gets, it has this David versus Goliath sort of feeling. And I think that's what makes it fun to come into work every day. Get out there and try something. And don't be afraid. There's lots of people to catch you. And you will never get criticized for trying something for the right reasons and making a mistake. Most things at Facebook don't happen because it's mandated at a top level. It happens because there's an individual in the company who really wants something to happen, who has that deep passion to kind of figure out all the subtle product decisions that go into making a product beautiful and elegant. What we're trying to do as a management team is encourage people to see the gap. And that requires being critical and being extremely imaginative. You can work on huge problems or you can come up with your own problem and work on that. Um, and you can really have a big impact. It's really early, right? I mean, if you look at the type of information that people share, it's, it's all very simple, right? And the amount of context that people can have about the world around them, the type of sharing that people want to be able to do, the type of things that you want to be able to learn about people around you, it's really just getting started come into work with a sense of urgency about what we're doing. Um, even if it seems like it's a simple task on a day-to-day -day basis, getting it done is the thing that lays the groundwork for everyone else to do the other things that they're doing so that it all adds up to something huge. I look around the world and I see all the things that Facebook has done from people who have adopted babies through Facebook to people that have fought for peace in, ele in elections like the Iranian election. What I see are individuals connecting. And no matter what your job is here, whether you're in you know, user operations, dealing with users, or engineering where you're coding the site, or sales where you're opening a new sales office in a new country, it doesn't matter because we're all here to serve exactly one purpose, which are those human connections which happen every day through Facebook. We're so far, far, far away from the vision of what this could be, um, which is everything you use and everything you interact with, all the websites you use, the devices you use, they just feel like there's people there and they're conduits to people that you know and that you care about. And that is an intense, compelling thing that we are out and on the verge of creating for the first time ever in history. We can build all these new kinds of experiences and the difference between where we are and what's there, I think is a handful of people with a sense of determination and a really powerful imagination.